we'll start with number three. We often do uh, eight more than a number X. So uh, eight more than a number x. So any way that you can figure to write this down so that uh, you have x, and then in the end you have eight more than that. So if we started with x and we added eight, we'd have eight more than x. Or if we had uh, eight and added x, we'd have eight more than x. Uh, however we want to do it, uh, we wind up adding eight and x and finding the sum of those two. Um, number six. 50 divided by uh, a number h. Okay, so 50 divided by a number h, or 50 divided by a number h, uh, however we want to look at it. Uh, it's just 50 divided by h somehow. Um, Next, number 12, we got a couple things going on here. Five more than three times a number x. Oh, w. So five more than three times a number w. So, uh, so I hear five more and I think, you know, five more. Take something and add five to it. Uh, can't argue with that. Uh, five more than something. The, the something is three times a number w. Uh, so we have a number w. We multiply by three. Uh, so that's three times a number w and five more than that. So you just add five. Um, next, number... Mm, number 15. Okay, so here we have some somewhat believable real-life situations. So, uh, number of tokens needed for V video games if each game takes four tokens. Uh, so, here maybe you're getting tokens out of the uh, like the change machine, and you want to know how many you should get. Uh, so, if each video game costs V tokens. Uh, or, sorry, each video game costs four tokens, and there are V of them that you want to play. So, this arcade, you're going to put four of them in there, and this arcade, you'd have to put four of them in there, and on and on it goes for however many arcade games you want to play. Uh, so, that'd be four, uh, and another four, and another four, and another four. Um, one way we could write it, which sometimes... We write things like this in math. We just add up a bunch of fours, right? How many of them do we add up? Well, we have this many video games. Uh, that would be the letter V they're talking about. Well, if we just add up four V times, that would be four times V. All right, so then it, all we need to know is the number of video games. Plug in V and uh, multiply by four, and there you have it. Next, 16, number of pages of a five-page article left to read if you've read P pages. Um, so there's a, an article, and it is five pages long. Right, so I'm drawing these pages. That's four. And there's five pages that are all stapled together here. So a five-page article. How many pages do you have left to read if you've read a certain number already? If you were to have read one, there'd be four left. If you read two, there'd be three left. If you read three, there'd be two left, and so on. Um, so we would just take the number of total pages we start with minus the number of pages we've read. And P could be even a, a decimal, like... If you read two and a half pages, you'd have two and a half pages left, uh, or whatever you, whatever p is. It can take on any value from zero to five, and uh, the result of this would be how many pages you have left to read. Uh, number twenty-one. 
number of months in a year. So this is kind of a good problem because they don't give you all the information. It's kind of calling on your knowledge of the real world. So number of months in a year, or in Y years, excuse me. So um, there's 12 months in one year. If we have two years, right, that'd be, if we take another 12 months, add that on. 12 months in another year, another 12 months for a third year. Um, and we just keep doing that for however many years. Uh, so we have 12 months times the number of years. So 12 times 15 would be 12 months times 15 years which would give us the number of months that have gone by in total. Um, so number 22 starts on the problems involving rates. 32 students uh, among four groups. Assuming there's an equal number of students in each group, uh, how many students are in one group? Uh, so we divide by the denominator, divide by 4, divide by 4. So we get 8 students per group. Um, 28. We're going to compare and see uh, which rate is bigger. Um, and depending on the context of the problem, uh, one might be better than the other. Um, so which is greater? So we have one and a quarter mile in two minutes, four seconds. Then we have one and three sixteenths miles in one minute and fifty five seconds. So one, let's say one point two five over uh, two minutes four seconds. Uh, and let's see, three sixteenths, what is that? Point one eight seven five, so 1.1875 uh, miles. Let's see. Yeah, this is miles in one minute fifty-five seconds. So one thing we have to do, you know, how would how would you divide by two minutes and four seconds? Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So we need to either express it in seconds or minutes, hours maybe. Um, well, four uh, seconds or sixty seconds in a minute. So 4 out of those 60 uh, is in addition to the 2 minutes. So we would have 2 point some amount of minutes, right? And there's 4 out of those 60 seconds. So we have 0 0.06 repeating. So 0, uh, let's say 0 0.07 minutes. So we want to do the same thing over here, 1.1875 miles in one point. Now this is going to be a large portion of a minute. This so is 55 out of 60. So 0.916 repeating. So we'll do 0.917. Okay. Now we'll take and divide by the denominator both here, so 1.25 divided by 2.07, so that's a 0 0.604, let's call it, minute, or miles, miles per minute, right. and now we can compare once we divide both of these by 1.917. point 
1.8875 divided by 1.9, Okay, what's bigger? 0 0.60, 0 0.61, so this would be greater. here and do a couple more. Um, let's do a, another problem like that where we compare two rates. And I'm just making these numbers up here. Um, so let's say that you drove in town 45 miles. That just In town just means uh, with stop signs and stop lights and traffic and that kind of stuff. Uh, so 45 miles and Somehow you were able to measure that uh, that used 2.37 gallons of gas. And um, then you took a longer trip on the highways, um, so you get to drive longer uh, without having to stop or slow down or anything, so it's definitely more efficient. So 500 miles uh, and only took 16.67 uh gallons. Okay. And this is a comparison we see a lot. You know, how much do you get in town? How much do you get on the highway? Um, so, 45 miles with 2.37 gallons. It's 45 miles per 2.37 gallons. If we divide both by 2.37, then 45 divided by 2.37 is, uh, let's just call it 19. 19 miles for one gallon. Over here, 500 miles divided by 16.67 gallons. Okay, so 500 divided by 16.67. Let's call that 30 miles per gallon. All right. Uh, just a comparison. Clearly, we're we're going to get better uh, gas mileage on the highway than when we're in town. Um, one last one. Just a official word problem. 31. Uh, so. Tickets to a science museum cost nineteen ninety five each. So uh, we're talking about tickets. Tickets. Mm, that looks good. So tickets there nineteen ninety five each. Okay. There is a three dollar charge for each order, no matter how many tickets are ordered. So three dollars, no matter what. Order one ticket or five tickets, you still pay a three dollar charge. Um, let's see, write an expression for the cost in dollars of ordering tickets, then find the total cost if you order five tickets. Um, so the tickets are nineteen ninety five each. So the the amount that you pay for tickets is going to be nineteen ninety five times the number of tickets. So let's maybe use T for tickets. All right. Uh, the, the cost for the $3 charge is just $3. Uh, so how are we going to find the total cost? Well, we're going to pay for the tickets. We're going to pay the $3. The $3 is going to be added on to the cost of the tickets. So $19.95 times the number of tickets plus just $3 would be the total cost. And if we buy five tickets, let's see what that would be. Nine Nineteen ninety-five times five plus three, hundred and two seventy-five. All right. Uh, well, that is it for what I have here. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. You can write it in the comments or talk to me in person. I uh, thank you for watching, and I hope that was helpful.